Good morning. Ooh, I look crazy. Kind of are. We make that in. Okay. Oh no, because I called you. Yes. Is that all I gotta do? <laughs> that was evil. I wish I would have caught that on camera. I cannot believe you just did that. I am scarred for life. Good morning. <laughs> it is turkey trot day. It's not called turkey trot. It's I can't believe or I thought, that's what it is. I thought turkeys could fly 5K. So, <laughs> it's kind of a funny name. I think turkeys can fly, they just can't fly long. They, they get in the air and then they drop back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. It's a helicopter and it's coming this way. Something just came out of the back of the helicopter. Oh my God, they're turkeys. Anyway, that's the name of what we're doing. I bought us turkey socks to wear for our turkey trot. And we're running late because that's how I live life. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we are headed there and we also are getting photos done today. So that's fun. We're gonna go to a Christmas tree farm with the pups and... and yeah. Christmas tree farm. Christmas tree farm. I like our socks. I like our socks. Alright. I love our socks. Since we both ran this one, I didn't get much filming. It's harder to film when we're both running and that's okay. I really enjoyed running this with my husband, even though we were like, we were not running it hand in hand by any means, but it was so fun. And hi. <laughs> How do you feel about how you did? I could have done better. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, what you can do about it? Yeah, I'm fine about it. <laughs> I, I definitely finished faster. I can't remember what my time was last time. I think it was right at 50. And today it was 48.30. I guess I like hitting those even numbers. <laughs> well, that's the thing. They might have you even faster on their sheet over there. They have me at 27, or 27.02. You didn't look for me? You're at the bottom of the sheet. <laughs> you want to go? So it was fun. I definitely. You can look around if you have your phone. I definitely feel a little more achy. I think it's because I've been doing more intense, like running, trying to like bend my legs, like adjusting forms. It's not like bad pain, but I definitely feel different. So. Anyway, which I did that first mile, I went a lot faster. I can't help it. I um, I think the more I do, the better I'll get. But anyway, there were so many turns, <laughs> so many turns on this course, but I'm glad we came. It was fun to do, love our socks. <laughs> and now we gotta go home and get ready for photos. Who did you pass at the end? Passed a 10 year old probably. <laughs> 
<laughs> so he was telling me that at the end he um he kicked it up a notch like right at the end to pass a father and son and I was like how old was the son and he's like probably 10 <laughs> the soul crushing <laughs> I love you but you did good yeah. and you'll do better next time yep. me too I'll do better next time just like this time I did better yeah, than last on. time we just got done eating we ran into a bunch of our ifit friends on the way out that's it's always fun to run into people um and let's see so i am gonna go to a pet store see if i can get the puppy some collars and then i am gonna run by old navy and just see so i have this cute blue jean dress my husband has a plaid shirt that he's had for a long time and I was thinking we would just wear stuff we already have and we still might. It's gonna be like a darker background and it's so overcast today. I'm like, maybe we need to wear lighter colors to like pop. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm not going to a lot of stores. Old Navy usually has sales and it's usually a, usually a win. So we're gonna see, see what we can do. See what we can find. A small fortune later, we are on our way. On our way to Old Navy. I'm thinking we're just going with what I have at home, but we'll see. About to blow dry my hair I got home pulled out all of my makeup which is not a lot but I pulled it all out and I just need to get ready and my phone my fam my, can't find the words the camera died so this is on my phone so it's weird because I'm like I don't I don't know where to look so I'll just stop looking so I have some powder foundation then I am wearing Barely There Black Honey, I think. And I think I'm gonna line my lips. I'm not gonna line my lips, it's gonna look weird. So then I've got some eyeliner that I'm probably gonna wear. Most of the other products that I use, if I ever use any, which is very rare, is in there. So I'm probably gonna mess my face up trying my brushes. I mean, that's everything. That is everything. A second. <laughs> Very quickly, you're going to see that I'm pretty terrible at this get ready with me. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but I hope you'll stick with me because some of it's funny. I'm gonna leave it up to you. I was gonna have you try it on. If you like the way the green looks on you better, great. It takes me a crazy amount of time to blow dry my hair. So normally what I do is not what I'm doing here. Normally I allow my hair to air dry for like two hours and then I blow dry it. And I get the same exact effect, maybe slightly less fluffy, but I did end up using some like smoothing spray, which helps with that. And then I also put a little bit of oil on the ends, which helps tame flyaways for me. So pretty simple and not something that I normally do. Not at all. I that to you, but I was like, I'm pretty sure these aren't gonna work. Tight. This is gonna be so tight. Yeah, which is 
I don't want you to be miserable. We're going to have to ride like almost an hour there. Oh, sometimes riding for an hour is good in some context. Oh my gosh. Sticking me in khaki pants. Turning me into an old man. I thought we already discussed this. You are an old man. Oh, not yet at least. <laughs> I have not switched to making loads by a weekend destination yet. I'm fighting. Pretty close to that one. Oh. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, you knew it was? Yep. <laughs> Let me show y'all. Looks so nice. <laughs> I'll link most of the things that I'm using down below if I can. I use like the It Cosmetic CC Cream and then I just use a Ulta brand beauty blender, at least I think that's what it is. And then on this day I was feeling like, so it, the, it Cosmetics is like the shiny one and I didn't want my cheeks super shiny, so I went over it. <laughs> I'm so tight. I know, I told you it was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not even flexing, I'd be afraid to flex. <laughs> You'd be popping some buttons. And then a tried and true for me is the Dual Finish Powder by Lancome. Like I've used that for as long as it has existed. And I used to use Lancome foundation, but my skin kind of changed and the It Cosmetics cream just it feels better. But I am too pasty for the, the not shiny one right now. Let's see. Close. You don't have a V-neck one? No. You're gonna see right. No. What is it? Oh no, now it's good. It's all over the floor. Why is it so expensive? I don't know, because it's supposed to be for your face. I use it for my hair sometimes. And I use it for my face too, but only in the winter. there either like what I wanted was just so simple and they had it they had several options but what they didn't have was anything other than smalls or like 3xl so I'm like what we can Beautiful. Boo boo! You look so handsome. So we are on our way now. Got a red light. Pups are in the back. Hubs is dressed and ready. Here we go. I didn't film at the Christmas tree farm, but Julie was so sweet. She did like a screen capture of a lot of the images, not all of them, but this is from her. So just a little sneak peek and I can't not wait to get these back. Hello, y'all remember Julie? This is Julie. Hi. She's a wonderful. Just in time to bring you right back to me. 
got Julie. We have Kitty and the puppies. They're so dramatic. This is about us. <laughs> you can't vlog. No, they're like, you can't vlog. They're like, excuse me, other people of the world, this is our park. They got so many stories to tell. <laughs> I grew up with German Jeffers, so I'm used to the stories, but they're very noisy. It kind of echoes here because we're just kind of like Yeah. Julie took our, our pictures again. Oh my goodness, oh my their gosh. faces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you want to say wait, bye to Julie? Wait, guys. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Bully bones, chipperoni. The cutest moment, and I missed it, and I'm a horrible person, but you got no, it on your video. So I think I did, that. yeah. At least I have that, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thank you for taking our pictures. No problem. That feels very weird to have this up. They look very bright, but that's okay. It just, I'm gonna have to look bright. Isn't that kind of your channel? <laughs> that is true. That is my channel. Good call, babe. <laughs> well, the babies were little terrors, so I didn't, I didn't film anything. Um, I definitely got bitten by some ants. Got ant bit. Um, and he looked like a stud the whole time, like he usually does. <laughs> but we had fun. We had fun. It feels fun to like have makeup on, like eyeliner and stuff because I like never almost never do that I don't even think I've worn eyeliner in the last pictures that I had taken which was I guess a year ago no because we did them at Utah like Anna had set that up in Utah so but anyway <sighs> this is a fun fun pictures I'm excited to see them and yeah well we're headed home or home and then something to eat so we'll see y'all in a little bit yes i am wearing my get ready shirt from yesterday it has stains not from yesterday but from before but it is such a comfy shirt so i felt like it was a good shirt to just kind of chill in so i am yesterday was such a good day so we got up we went to the race and I feel like that just set such a good tone for a whole day. I love, I loved doing that with him. And it just makes me look forward to when I can keep up with him a little bit better. So right now he's, he's always fast. He'll always be faster than me. At least I hope so. Cause I feel like if he wasn't faster than me, then it would probably be because of like an injury or something. So I hope that he stays. I hope that he stays faster, but I hope that I get closer to meeting, like meeting his pace. When we started dating, I walked a, like three times faster than he walked everywhere. I walked fast everywhere. I, I look forward to just continuing to get fitter, to lose more weight and to get healthier. The positive effects of weight loss on my life, I'm just grateful and I'm grateful to be at the point that I am now and grateful to continue forward. So we went for the run, we got home and we decided to go to our favorite or one of our favorite restaurants here in Fayetteville for breakfast or it was more of a brunch, but it was still breakfast that we got. And we love this place, it's, it's really good. And then it's very like, there's not a ton of like options. Their menu isn't huge and it's all pretty clean. So it's, they don't do a ton of seasonings on anything. Like you're kind of up to your, like whatever you want. So if you want salt on it, then you're going to be salt in your eggs. So, but I, we really enjoy it. And I also, yeah, it was just, it was a busy day. So then I got home and immediately I left to go pick up the pups collars and stuff and spent some time doing that. Got home, y'all saw, got ready. And then we drove up to get our pictures taken. And when we got back, we went to Indian and that is one of our favorite places, like one of our favorite types of food. And then the Indian restaurant here, it's just another one where it's relaxed and it's just good. Their food's good, both places, the food's really like good. Um, the quality of the food is good and we just enjoy it. So any, all that to say, <laughs> I'm kind of anxious to weigh in for this coming week, but this past week when I weighed in, I weighed in at 353.5 pounds. It's a loss of 0.6. 
and it's slow, but I, my most recent weigh-in video, I shared that I was struggling and, and I have been, while I struggle, I don't question or feel anxiety about going backwards. Like I have this confidence in trusting my intuition on and what I need. Yeah, it just, it's hard to communicate without sounding like I'm being way hard on myself or way easy on myself. Having the confidence to, to do what I need is, is good and it, it sucks because it's a juggling of needs at this point. Like, I don't know, there's just so many little things. I kind of feel like this talk that I'm kind of getting into deserves like its own like type of video, but not up until this point in meaning today, but up until probably May. In order to be successful, all I needed to do was eat cleaner and better. And yes, I tracked my food sometimes, but most of my journey, I have been very irregular at tracking anything and eating intuitively. That alone was enough to continue and into year two, that was enough to continue to be successful with weight loss. Now I say successful because I've lost almost a hundred pounds and I feel like that's quite successful. When I share things about my weight loss, it's, I'm not asking like why or whining, why, why am I not losing more? Like I'm prioritizing stability and what I can hold and moving forward. I wanna go slow and steady, meaning I want to be steady. I don't believe in a the way to do weight loss. Like I think each of us has to take the time to figure out what we need. Getting to a point where you trust your intuition is so important. I think it's easy to grasp on what you have to have in order to do, and you don't have to have those things. And having those things do not necessarily make it easier or ensure that you're gonna get where you're going, especially if you haven't done that internal work um, which I'm still in the thick of. So yeah, anyway, today was a good day. I did not think I was gonna be talking for so long. I am so excited to get my pictures back. I think that these pictures are gonna be so beautiful. I cannot wait to see them. I'm a little worried that we're gonna blend in with the background. We'll see, I keep, I keep stalking Julie's page. I'm like, maybe she'll put a sneak peek on her Instagram. I also know she's like shooting all day today, so it's not realistic. Like she has, she had sessions all day yesterday, she has sessions today. Like it's gonna be the full, I think it's usually, it's either a week or two weeks that is the plan for her to get the, um, the pictures back to us. So <sighs> I look forward to sharing those with you. And thank you so much for watching my video, for encouraging me along my journey and Tomorrow, I am filming a full day of eating, which I think you guys will have seen by the time you see this video. So and I look forward to filming some of the things that I used to film more regularly that, that I felt encouraged me, that I enjoyed doing. And so we're, we're doing it. All right, I love you so much. I am rooting for you. Thank you so much for sharing bits and pieces of your journey with me in the comments and in emails. It truly does inspire me. Your stories inspires me and they motivate me and encourage me. And I'm so grateful for you. Talk to you next time.